Good evening, everybody. You guys hear me? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? How are you? Is it true that it was uh, there was an earthquake again? Um, yes, yes, it's true. But it was in the same region, same region that um, the last time. The last time, yeah, yeah. Um, unfortunately, that that area is being affected. Like it, it, it continue. It has. It hasn't really stopped. Um. It hasn't stopped uh, shaking in that area ever since. Like it's, mm -hmm. there's been small mm -hmm. shakes um, ever since. Like it hasn't stopped. Um, and yesterday, it just was stronger again. Yeah. So. I'm so sorry to hear that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. It's 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 really difficult. It was just, that area, you know, you, you guys know about um, uh, tectonic plates, right? So mm -hmm. that area is right in the middle of two tectonic plates. Um, so that's why there's a lot of activity going on right now. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It happened the same here after after the earthquake. Mm -hmm. A lot of little earthquakes come after, right? Yeah. Yeah. Replicas. Like, uh, I don't know how yeah, to say it. Yeah, yeah. Replicas, yeah. We say replicas in English too. Um, exactly, yeah. So it hasn't really stopped at all. Like um I have you, you guys remember um the the uh, the video that I showed you last time about um, uh, about uh, the earthquake application. Yeah. Do you guys that? Yeah. So, anyways, um, I have that application in my phone, mm -hmm. and um, it's I've been monitoring. At at first, I it was making me going crazy because um, it was like all the time it would be going off and um uh but then i set it to stop to just notify me of uh a 200 uh kilometer radius mm -hmm. and then it stopped because um it's the place where it's shaking it's about 7 to 800 kilometers away from where i am and um it's always shaking all the time like like the last one the last one that they, they that was felt was 12 minutes ago oh my god mm -hmm. it was 3.3 it's and funny. and the one before that was 16 minutes ago at 2.5 and so on. So it, it it keeps on it keeps on shaking. It hasn't stopped shaking. Um, so unfortunately, I mean, yeah, that's 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 the reality right now. Um, yeah. So unfortunately, and yeah, well, we can do is pray. Yeah, and um. You know, many people are sending help. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, to the area. Yeah, yeah. There's mm -hmm. there's a lot of help from from different countries. Uh -huh. I but... heard our president send send some some of this 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 team that knows how to rescue. Yeah, a rescue team. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I've heard too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. That's unfortunately reality that we're living right now. It's really sad. We yeah. can understand that because we have lived 
they've just so many types, right? Exactly. Yeah. To be honest, I've never actually lived an earthquake. Um, I don't know really what what a, a real earthquake is like. I've only lived, you know, sh shakes and you know, lots of uh, tremors, but that's it. I've I've never actually been in a real earthquake, but I can only imagine how scary it must be. It's scary. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and, and now imagine when you lose everything. Mm. It's even worse. Or your beloved ones. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, because there are more than 40 million, sorry, there are 40,000 people that have lost their lives. That's a lot of people, isn't it? That's a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's unfortunately life right now for the people in the South part of turkey yeah thanks god you're okay teacher take care careful yeah, thank you for the time being i'm okay you have to um buy water yeah Just yeah exactly mm -hmm. yeah um because i'm actually on a different tectonic plate um but the borderline of the tectonic plate is not far away from Istanbul. So there is like, yeah, it's unfortunately also a, a, a big possibility that something could happen here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But, you know, we can't, we can't live in fear you know, all the time. Okay. We, we just have to be prepared, right? Um, and that's the best we can do, be okay. prepared. Yeah. You know, I have always, I've always, when I go to the supermarket, I I always buy can, cans. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I remember this time that that, and I buy every time I go to the market, I buy. And I remember this time I told the nanny, hey, I want to eat one. And and she said, there are no cans. They did there are how come I said. And my daughter have have given to the cats. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> and in my mind I was ready. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly. There were Actually... there were no cans. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're talking. I'm, I'm sure that you're talking about um, tuna cans. Uh huh. Tuna can exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Also, something that is very good is peanut butter. Oh really? Yeah. It lasts a lot of time. Oh yeah, it it lasts a long time and it, it has a lot of calories. So um, just one you like one spoonful of, of peanut butter can give you enough energy to last you one whole day. Really? Mm -hmm. you know, my favorite peanut butter is the one that comes with, with strawberry marmalade. Together? Uh-huh. I had never heard of that. Really? It's delicious. Mm -hmm. It's the wow. best. Wow, I know mm. I had never heard of that. I, I mm, it, where do you buy it? At the supermarket. That comes from the US, I guess, or Panama, I don't remember. But I love it. It's but is it like delicious? Is it like together a, like like a, a price mark or something like that? Mm, price mark, exactly. Yeah. Or because in, in, in uh -huh. really in selectos. Yeah. Hmm, interesting. I had, I don't know. Yeah, yeah but what I what I do know is that um, 
that yeah peanut butter lasts a long time and has a lot of calories um so it gives you a lot of energy so um it's something very good for you know a survival kind of food because good to know yeah yeah take note guys <laughs> because <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we 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 all we we all live in in a in an area where natural disasters can happen. Well, yeah. but if the cat ate my tuna cans, maybe the peanut butter is going to be eaten by the kids. <laughs> uh, also, what what you could do? You don't have any dogs. Do you have any dogs? No, no dogs. Okay. All right. Good. So, so then she won't be able to give the dogs buy dog food. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. You know why? Huh? Don't eat the grass, nice. the dog food. Don't eat the dog food. <laughs> <laughs> that way, the dogs will be able to find you. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, so buy, buy some dog food so that they can smell it and they mm -hmm. can they can find you easier. Yeah. So. Anyway, so guys, um, welcome to today's class. Welcome to the beginning of this week. Um, I can see some faces, but other faces are covered. Um, if you guys can turn on your camera, let's see, I, do, I cannot see Fernando Ernesto, can't see uh, Roberto, there we go, okay, wonderful, welcome guys, you guys were trying to hide from me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how are you guys? How is your weekend? I hope you had a good weekend. Did you guys have a good weekend or no? Mm. Yes, a bit? A little bit. I had to work on Sunday. Oh, really? Mm. Yeah, wow, okay. You had to work on Sunday. Hmm. Okay. Uh, hello, Juan Miguel. How was your weekend? Hi, teacher. Do you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, it was kind of relaxing, a relaxing weekend. Oh, uh, good. I had a barbecue yesterday with some friends. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. uh, let's see. Um, the Saturdays, um, afternoon, uh, we went shop some groceries and some things that we will we will need to the barbecue yesterday. Mm. And I I tried to make the uh, all the things related to to give a good taste to the barbecue, yeah. Oh, okay, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see what else. Uh, yesterday morning, mm -hmm. I was, I, I was, uh, let's see, what was doing? Uh, trying to uh, clean some things here at home. Yeah. And it it was kind of relaxed. Yeah. Uh, kind of relaxing. So not really yeah. relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, that was my dog. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Uh and it was it was because we can enjoy together there are some some good moments. With, with with my friends, yeah. Hmm. Good, good. I'm glad. To, I'm glad you had a good time at the barbecue. Yeah. If if there is something that is, uh, that 
relax me is uh, trying to cook. Trying mm. to do it because I, I don't, I'm not a uh, 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 chef or something like this, but I like to to find new ways to give another taste to the food. And this is for me kind of relax. Is out of the routine, yeah. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. yeah. Oh wow! I, was doing I, I wish I could say the same, but cooking for me stresses me. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. I don't. I'm not. Yeah. A, I'm. I'm not. I'm not a good cook. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That, well, lucky, lucky. Your your family is very lucky. <laughs> I know. But it's not like like always. Yeah. It, for me, I think it's about if there is something like that exotic to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I try to to do. Yeah, but if it's uh, no, not, not normal, yeah, like uh, the, the, the food that we eat every day, it's kind of boring, so I don't like to... Mm. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but good. So we're we're I on the same well, you're on, we're on the same page. I I don't like to cook like everyday things like like huevos and frijoles. I just for me it's just boring <laughs> to to be cooking that. I I, I prefer yeah. to cook something different. Very special. Uh, yeah, different. something special. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello, Harbin. Are you there? Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, there you are. Hello, everyone. Good, good, good. How was your weekend? Oh, it was terrible. I was a little yes. bit sick. I was busy because I have to do a lot of homework from my university. Oh. And I have a lot of activity to do. Mm. Yeah. I see. Wow. So you had a very busy weekend. Yes. Mm. Okay. Uh, what What are you studying? Uh, what? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is uh, how do you say? <laughs> engineering, industrial engineering. Ah, industrial engineering. Yeah. Ah, interesting. Okay, very good. How how many years have you have you been studying already? Three years. Three years. Yes. Wow. wow I can okay. say right now I am into the half. Yeah. You're in, yeah, you're you're yeah. halfway through. Yep. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. And do you like it? No, yeah, sometimes. <laughs> I have to be honest. Sometimes I don't understand something and I feel frustrated. Mm -hmm. And but it's okay. I like it. Good, good. I'm happy. I'm happy you you like it. <laughs> good, <laughs> excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay. Hello, Dora. How are you? Hello, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. You're fine? Yes. J just fine? Yes. All yeah. fine. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Good, good. How How was your weekend? Um, uh, a little busy. Yeah? She make a uh, uh, home. home. Sorry, I, I couldn't hear you. Dora? They just have any connection problems. Yeah, I think she's. Okay. Okay. Um. 
All right. Okay, guys. Well, um, I'm glad to see all of you, and I'm glad that you guys had a, a great weekend. Um, so what we're going to start with is we'll start with the attendance. We haven't taken that yet. So we'll start with Ana Claudia. No, Ana Claudia. Wow, okay. I hope she's okay. She never misses any class. Okay. Um, David Samuel. Present teacher. Welcome. Dora. She come back? I guess not. Fernando Ernesto. Present. Okay. Wonderful, welcome. Eh, Francisco, bueno, Fernando Marvin. Fernando Marvin. No. Okay. Uh, Francisco Eduardo. Presentation. Wonderful, welcome. Heidi. Present teacher. Wonderful, welcome. Eh, Iliana. Is Iliana here? No? Okay. Um, Harvin. Present teacher. Wonderful. Welcome. Jose Marcos. Present. Okay. Wonderful. Welcome. Jose Osmin. Jose Osmin. No? Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Welcome. Thank you. Juan Miguel. I'm here, teacher. Present. Okay, great. Welcome. Ramon. Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Roberto. Roberto Luis. Roxana Yvette. Roxana Yvette. Okay, William. Present. All right, welcome. Suleyma. Wendy. Present Wendy. Teacher. Okay, welcome. And Wilfredo. Okay. All right, guys and girls. Um, happy to have you guys back again. Um, so what we're gonna do? I'm gonna share my PowerPoint. And please. Did you? Yeah. Yes, David. I have a question in the mm -hmm. platform. Okay. Uh, the first one is uh, the first part of the platform is. Is not uh, available. I I do it, but I only have available from the military uh, uh, and on in the the last part. The first part is not available. I don't know if I, a mistake or it's closed or it is closed. But it's not important for me. It's only a question. The, the second part is in the in the section three point five. Uh, there are uh, with the following the charts for a newspaper report, decided the positive use of correct or not, made the necessary modification for those that are incorrect. incorrect. And uh, my, que my question is, uh, what the, we need to put in the correction, only the positive or all the sentence? Because I put, they put all the sentence in, it, uh, is Marcus Bronk. Okay. The um, use of, of possessive. Okay, so the first thing is I want to ask, when you say that the first part is not available, are you talking about unit one? Unit one and the, the unit two, only is the, the meter, the meter uh, is available, the meter, and, and then the the lesson 
three. I, I, I already do the, the, the first part. I, the uh -huh. that, that's, that's exactly what, what yeah. my, my second it's, question was going to be. If, uh, because uh, according to what I have, you already did it. You already did uh, yes. section one and two. Yes, yes, oh, I got, did you, you were, I don't have finished. problem. I I only I only know to that. Okay. But, All right. So so okay, so that's not a problem then, right? Like yes, no problem okay. for me. All right, so you just work okay. on section three. Okay. Uh, the section three uh, three point five. Right. Uh, uh, yeah, um what I do have is that the midterm is incomplete. My midterm is complete. The 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 only is what the, the what the, did, that when, that's when did you wrong. When did you complete it? I did it uh, last week. Did you do it after the 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 cutoff date? Because um remember that that uh I, I did it on Friday, yeah, yeah. I think Oh it, okay, yeah, then it was after. Yeah. Yeah, yes. because um Remember that the that you have until Tuesday. So I on because on Wednesday, I I do the I I I, I um I uh update the yes I, the I, I did yeah. Friday in okay and the only that I was missing is what the 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 the, the that uh, question in the the number. Three and four, I believe. I remember number three and four that there was in a, in a, in only one paragraph. It, that's only the the one I I did it right, but uh, there was two questions in one paragraph. Mm -hmm. I see. That was okay. the only one missing for me. Okay, all right. But I can I I, I can do it in in the in the moment. Wonderful. Okay, so. My second question is, your the problem that you're having in unit three is what section? Three point one. Three point five. Okay, and your question about exercise three point five is what? my question is: uh, you mark the correct or incorrect, and that is not problem. You select what is correct. The use of was positive, and uh, uh, when it is incorrect, what correction we need to do in the next space? Because I try the complete sentence, and I try the only the word that have the possessive, and no one of them what was, was correct. I don't know. And in the, in the second is one of the nation's largest health insurance sell that the personal information of 10 of million of the customers. And the, the positive in this case is in, in the nations. In this case. And a, a, a nation is a singular word, it's not need a nation. Nation. Okay. Uh, um. Sorry, so three point, okay, so three point five, and which one is in the one that's giving you problems? What what number? The second one and the, and the third one. Those that are incorrect. The use of the possessive. The use of possessive. And uh, we need to put the correct uh -huh. way. Uh huh. Okay. My question is. We need to put the, the whole sentence or only yes. the part that is... Yes, the whole sentence. Um, oh, wait a sec. Um, yeah, the whole sentence. Mm -hmm. You have to write the whole sentence. Now, just be careful with that with, one because with the period of the day, uh, period of the day or not? 
Yes. Yes, because mm -hmm. I, I put it. Oh, uh, um, I... number two doesn't have a period. Number three uh, does. Okay. Oh, no, no, it's, yeah, yeah, number three does. Mm -hmm. But I uh, already uh, wrong. Okay, okay. N N what I was going to tell you guys is um, when you're writing apostrophes, you just be careful which one you're using because sometimes um, it may take it wrong because you're using the wrong symbol. So you got to make sure that it's the correct apostrophe. Does that make sense? I use the same than the exercise teacher and it didn't work. The, mm -hmm. the, 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 the wrong is in nations. Okay. Nations. Nations, yes. And a... Uh, I, I will analyze that one and I'll get back to you guys tomorrow. Is that fair? Because anyways, we're, we have even started unit three. So um, so I'll, I'll analyze it and I'll get back to you guys tomorrow about, about that. Sounds good? Okay. Is that fair, David? Okay. Okay. All right. Because maybe some maybe the the mistake could be somewhere else so we'll I'll, I'll try to figure that one out okay all right um okay so anyways uh yeah just make sure you guys um what i was going to say is at least i i took i took um I, I updated, let's say the the note, the the the, the um your notes, like all of your notes, um, all of your grades. I updated it on Wednesday, so I don't know if you guys already finished um this weekend or what, right? But um, just take that into account that uh, you should have finished the midterm already. And you should be, um, well, yeah, we should we should be, oh sorry, we should be uh, finishing the the midterms soon, um, eh, tomorrow basically, yeah, tomorrow, it's uh, we should be finishing soon. So, um, eh, so if you haven't finished you the the midterm, make sure that you finish it by tomorrow, okay? Because on Wednesday, I will be updating and it should be complete, okay? Okay, anyway, um, let's continue, guys. Please tell me if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, the chair, we can see it. Wonderful. So this is the advanced four, it's day number 14. David's Monday, February 12th, 20th, 2023. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so we're going to start talking about the semicolon. Okay. The semicolon is a punctuation mark used to join ideas that are closely related. Do you guys understand what, what it looks like? What a semicolon looks like? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. What does it look like? On that okay. one comma. A what? One that one comma. Right. A dot and a comma on top of each other. Right. Um. So. Basically, it looks like this. Right there. That's a semicolon. Okay. So. Semicolons, there are different ways that we're going to be using semicolon. The first way is when we're going to join two ideas that are closely related. So we can use a semicolon similar to a period. 
Okay, you guys know periods, right? So let's say that it's very similar to a, a period with the difference that periods finish the idea and go on to another idea. What the semicolon does is that it's telling us these two separate ideas are very closely related. So there are two sentences that, you know, they're separate. Each one of them has a separate idea, but the ideas are closely related. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect them as if like we had like a comma, but we want to acknowledge that they are separate ideas themselves. Does that make sense? Does that make sense, guys, or are you a little confused about that? It makes sense, sense teacher. Yeah? Teacher, sorry, can you give a zoom to the, to the text? Oh, sure, sure, no problem. Also, um, I, I don't yes. know if you guys know that you can also do Zoom yourself. Um, if you are in a computer, you can Zoom yourself uh, the text um, so that like um, if it's not enough what is being presented it can you can you can do it yourself uh, do you do you know how to do that part David do you know how to zoom by, by yourself let me see there is if you go to the top right no, 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 no. The top, just the top. Uh, on the top, there's it's called, hay una pestañita. Creo que le, le da, en la parte superior, le da una pestañita. Y ahí creo que le dice eh, ajustar a la pantalla. Or something like that. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you could also it. do that. Yeah. If yes. you want. But yeah, okay. there's no problem. I can I can do it. No problem. Just I just want to let you know that you can also do it if you want. Okay, thank okay. you. You're welcome. Um, okay, so uh, going back to this. So the semicolon connects the two ideas, but what's important is that we connect the two ideas without using fanboys. Do you guys remember fanboys? I you remember, remember the acronym. Yes. So you're in British or mine? Yeah, of course. Always. Okay, so fanboys is an acronym that we use to remember the coordinating conjunctions. Okay, so it looks like this. So the first one stands for four. Okay. The second one and nor, but, or, yet, and so. That's fanboys. Okay. Okay. Any questions about that? No, teacher. Thank you no, for it. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. You're welcome. Um, so normally when we, we connect in a sentence, in one sentence, we can connect um two ideas using um using uh, the 
the fan the 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 coordinating conjunctions. Okay. But when we are not using the coordinating conjunctions and we want to show that there is a relationship to within two separate ideas, we use the semicolon. An example of this is this one. The presence of IoT is uh, per permeating all business fields. That's one idea and it's complete. Right, it's a it's a complete idea. We don't need more. And then we could, if we wanted, we could put a period here, right? We could just simply, boom, put a period, and that'd be okay. Because the next is a complete idea on its own. The manufacturing sector, especially with, uh, especially, will see benefits on the control of processes. So that's a completely different idea. But because this second idea is connected with this first idea, then we can use a semicolon to show that these two ideas are connected. Okay, so what we do is we show that this idea and this idea are both connected, even though they are separate on its own, like they are complete ideas. You don't need anything to, to, to complete them, but they are connected. Yeah. Now, what's important also is this, do not use a coordinating conjunction before the semicolon. So never use a coordinating conjunction. So never use fanboy before the semicolon, okay? So never use it. Like, we're not gonna say, if for example, and the manufacturing sector especially will see benefits of the control of process. We wouldn't be able to write that, okay? So if we, if we wrote this, we wouldn't be able to use the semicolon. Does that make sense for you, for everybody? Guys, does that make sense for you? It Don't sounds you... like uh, it sounds like a uh, 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 subordinate conjunction, no, a subordinate clause, because the presence of IoT is permitting all business fields will see benefits of the control of processes. This is the, the, the sentence, and there are a clause that is the manufacturing sector especially. This is a, a, a subordinate clause because the second clause is, has no meaning with, without the first one. But the first, the first sentence ends at the control of process, the presence of IoT is permitting all business fields will see benefits of the control of process. Is, it, that is the complete sentence. And in the middle is the close, the manufacturing sector special. Uh, Sorry, I, I, I couldn't I, I couldn't understand really well. Okay, can you repeat that again? Yes, I, I, I was thinking that uh, uh, the 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 close the manufacturing sector special is a subordinate close because the the complete sentence is the presence of IoT is permitting all business field will see benefits of the control process. It is the, the complete sentence. In the middle we have the close the manufacturing sector special. All no. of the sector and in 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 the no, all no. of the sector will see benefits, all of the of the fields of business, but especially the manufacturing sector. Okay, this is one idea. But but we it's don't have an, an a, a complete idea. We have in this case, 
this the presence of IoT is permitting all business fields? What? Period. All business fields. What? There's there's a sentence. <laughs> there 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 the there presence is. Presence of IoT is permitting. Is permeating. Permitting. Uh -huh. What? Well, está permitiendo que todos los campos de negocios que no vean beneficios en el control de procesos. That is the, the complete sentence. The presence of IoT is permitting or business field will see the benefits of the control of process. No, 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 no. Okay. But remember, a complete idea has a um a subject and a verb that doesn't that is a, a verb that can either be that can either stand on its own right that that, that doesn't need any complement or it has the the necessary complement yeah um now it's not uh, by the way this word here is permeating not permitting permeating do you know what so, permeating sorry, say, say is again? So, okay i guess this... the problem here teacher is that maybe he is translating mm, no so not really you because translate the the sentence you doesn't understand the the, the complete sense of the sentence okay um Okay, let's let's just concentrate on the first part, okay? So first of all, we have the subject. What's the subject? In this one? The subject is the presence of IoT. Very good. Excellent. The presence the of IoT. Very good. That's the subject. What's the verb? Yes. And the very is a phrase of verb is permitting. Oh, sorry, what no. how does this say? Permeating. Is permeating. Yes, it is a verb. That is a okay. verb. What is do you understand what permeating means? And what is permeating? Is permeating. 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 Okay, permeating. It it's means... like alone. Huh? It's like no. alone. No, no, it doesn't mean allow. That's why that's why I'm saying maybe the problem is the meaning that the meaning of the verb is not clear. Maybe okay, maybe so, mm -hmm. maybe this word is like uh when you are trying to introduce something new in a uh, in a in this case in a field or in a industry and this is introducing step by step yeah i don't know if this is in, in mm. spanish is permeando i think yeah it, it means spreading we could say like it's spreading throughout mm -hmm. that's what it means so if we were going to replace it with another verb it would be like saying the presence of iot is spreading throughout all business fields Se está esparciendo. yeah okay so the presence of IoT mm -hmm. is spreading throughout, mm -hmm. throughout where? All business fields. Se está esparciendo en todos los campos de negocio. So that's a complete okay. idea on its own. Okay. Right? That, that, that's, that's, yes. that's, that's finished. That idea yes. is complete. Yes. No, mm -hmm. no problem. So yes. I, I, like, that's what I'm saying. I think the problem was the meaning of the verb was yes. not clear. The meaning of the because, verb, yes. Because if you say, if you think that it means permitting, permitting what? Right, uh, then okay. yes. Yes, then, yes. Then, that, is then, the, that is the way that I see it. Uh-huh, yeah. And for but, that reason, but, it does not make sense for me. But mm -hmm, in, in right. that case, yes. 
yeah but the, the, the we're not it's not permitting it's permeating Okay, so it, it, yeah, so that's okay. why this idea is complete. Does that make so, sense now, David? Yes, yes, now yes. Perfect, okay. So now, now that's the idea is complete. Now let's look at the other idea. The other idea is... Yes, because we, we, we can use, we can't uh, use a semicolon if the idea is not complete. Right, exactly, yeah. Okay. But it now, is. now you understand it is complete, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then we have the other idea is the manufacturing sector, especially, will yes. see benefits of the control of processes. So okay, this is telling me, this. remember this one, the presence of the presence of IoT is permitting in all business fields. So what we're saying is that this business field, okay, so this is, by the way, this is another complete idea. Right, it's manufacturers. Oh, hold on. This is another complete idea. And yes. to be able to be complete idea, we have to have a, a subject. And what is the subject? The manufacturing sector, yes. Yeah, exactly. Manufacturing sector. Very good. And what's the verb? We'll see. We'll see. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. And then we have a complement, right? We'll see what? Yes. Yeah. The benefits of the control of processes. So we're saying basically that specific, this is an example of a business field that is yes. going to see the benefits. So because this is an example of the business field, these two ideas are closely related. Yeah, but they are separate ideas. They're, they're one idea is like they can stand on their own. You don't need to put them together to make sense. They stand on their own, but they are closely related because this one is an example of this. So we can connect if we want. Okay, that's very important. If we want, we don't need to. This is not a semicolon is not necessary. It's just if you want to show that two separate ideas are connected without using one of the fanboys, we can use a semicolon. Is that pretty clear for now? Okay, yes, yes. Yeah, okay. Any other questions that you guys have? Please ask questions. I don't mind. I actually like you guys asking me questions because um, that means that that you guys are trying to analyze it. You're trying to get it. And I learned too. So please ask questions if something is not completely clear. For me, it's clear. Yeah? Yes, yes, now it's clear. Yeah? Sure. Mm -hmm. If uh, we want to use the conjunction, uh, we need to use a comma? Yeah, just just give me give, give me a second. I will I will answer that question. But let's give um Heidi an opportunity right now. Uh, you were saying sorry, Heidi, sorry. it's okay, it's okay. I wanted to ask you. Uh, and the first one says use a semicolon to join two independent clauses that are related, but not connected by coordinated conjunction. That those are pandas, right? But in the second one. We, you can use semicolon connect to independent on oh, let me see which one is. do not use coordinating conjunction let me see where was yeah, like this one like for, uh -huh. that's why i said i put the word and and is one of the the coordinating conjunctions right it's right here sorry it's right here and so we should not use the co that coordinating conjunction before the semicolon. 
Uh, no, I got it, I got it. The question is, uh, the second one uses semicolon with transitional expressions. It's different, different from the other one, right? With coordinating conjunctions and transitional expressions. Oh, okay, wait, wait, we haven't gotten there yet. I will explain the second one in a moment. I just want to, this is, this is the, I just want to explain the first idea. Um, okay. okay, so right now we're just in part number one. We're just looking that at this called, part. Call my attention because for it is um, a fun way, right? And the other one says for is for instance, but it's uh -huh. different. <clears throat> Yeah, I'll explain that in a moment. But okay. this part right here is, is clear. Can we go on to this point number two? Yeah, I think so. Yes. Okay, I just ask your teacher from, That's from actually the, up to here. That's point yes, number two. The, the question is, it was uh, about uh, if we want to use the coordinated conjunction, the conjunction and, and is the coordinate position. If we can use that, we can use a comma and then the the conjunction. Yes, we can use a comma ah, and yes. a conjunction. Okay. Yes, yeah. but we cannot use a semicolon, a semicolon. Yes. and a conjunction. Okay. Thank okay. you. Or even a conjunction and a semicolon. Like it can't go before or after. We can okay. use yes. All right. That, that's, in Spanish, that's... in Spanish, we can use uh, the coordinated conjunction after a comma or whatever is punctuation sign. But in, in, oh, really? Yes, oh. yes, we can use. I know. Uh... <laughs> See, I I, I, learn, uh, I learn all the time from you guys too. If we use a comma, we don't use a coordinated conjunction, but in English we can use with comma. A coordinate conjunction, yes, with comma, but yes. not semicolon. Yes. Not a semicolon. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Good. So that's that's number one, right? That's point number one. Let's go now to point number two. Okay, which is this part here. Okay. So it says use a semicolon with transitional expressions that connect two independent clauses. What's the difference between a uh, coordinating conjunction and a transitional expression? Who can tell me? The, the, the first one are independent. Independent but, but uh, related. Coordinated conjunction is only and. In, in some case, I think, uh, uh, what is that uh, when uh, and and then there are some similar to nor that we can use in some case, but I don't These remember. These ones. Okay, so to make Pero this the, a little, mm -hmm. the only one conjunction coordinate is and. The coordinating conjunctions are fanboys. Okay, so these there are seven seven coordinating conjunctions only. Okay, so. When I talk about coordinating conjunctions, I'm talking about these ones, fanboys. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. That's it. There's no more in English. Okay, so there's only seven, sorry, seven coordinating conjunctions in English. That's it. No more. And what they do, what those coordinating conjunctions do, is they connect two ideas in one sentence. Okay. Okay? That's important. I'll repeat that, that, that idea. Coordinating conjunctions or fanboys are only seven words in English. For, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. And we use it to connect two ideas in one sentence. Okay, so yes. to give you an example, um, if I'm using or, okay. Do you want to drink coffee or tea? 
do you want do you prefer to go to the beach or do you prefer to swim at the beach or um go for a hike in the mountains so they are they are two ideas right so the we have the first option is go swimming in in the beach the second idea is walking or hiking going for a walk uh, or going for a hike in the mountains but they those two ideas are connected in one idea using the word or okay so like I said, corning conjunctions connect two ideas in one sentence. Transitional expressions, what they do is they connect two independent clauses. Okay? And basically, they're connecting two, I, two sentences or two paragraphs. Okay? So transitional expressions, I'll repeat that. Transitional expressions connect two sentences or two paragraphs. Okay. Got it? And transitional expressions, um, I, I won't even give you, I won't even dare to give you a number of how many transitional expressions are because there are a lot there are a lot um i i i'm not even gonna like i don't know i i i would i would even say they're close to a hundred or something okay it according conjunctions sorry if transitional expressions can be words like for example, however, but in addition, um, for instance, for instance um, secondly, um, uh, in conclusion, blah, 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 blah. The list goes on and on and on and on. Okay. So what they do is they connect one idea with another idea, but these, these are in separate sentences. Okay, and sometimes they're in separate paragraphs. So when you have an article, for example, it, it's very useful to use a transitional expression because a, transitional expressions help me to connect one paragraph to the next paragraph, right? It makes it a smooth transition from one paragraph to the next. Does that make sense? In Spanish, we call this expression uh, conectores discursivos. Ah, okay. Uh, I think it's the same idea, yes. In, in this case, for, for is not a fanboy. For is part of a, a complete expression, for instance. Is no. It... no, 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 no. For is the fanboy. It's part of the fanboy, and it's a coordinate conjunction. Okay. For is similar, similar to because similar yes but it's a it's yes. definitely a corny conjunction but we, we can you use for instance oh that's different but that's a different that's not just for it's for instance for instance yeah that's yeah. that what you're trying to say for instance it's different or for uh-huh it's not yeah. acting like a fanboy it's acting like a different expression right yeah yes yeah okay. absolutely Okay. Um, yeah. So, anyways, so so as it says here, use a semicolon with transitional expressions that connect two independent clauses. So, if you have two sentences that are separate but that have a connection in between, like I said, it's not possible to use coordinating conjunctions. But what it is possible to use is a transitional expression. Sometimes we just call these transitions, 
Okay, so transitional express expressions or to make it simple, we call them transitions. Okay, you, you can also, here, okay, so you can use, and like I said, there are many, 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 many transition expressions. Some of them, um, they are used to show contrast, like, however, um, on the contrary, um, uh, on the other hand, um, um, nevertheless, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so those are uh, those are the ones that show us um, a contrast. There are other ones that show us an addition, like in addition. Um, uh, it's adding something. Mm -hmm, it's adding something. Yeah. Um, a more, moreover, blah, 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 blah. Okay. There are ones that show us sequence. Like, uh, first of all, secondly, um, as a, a, in conclusion. Okay. So they show us order. Okay. And, and they have their, they, they have different reasons to be, right? So, um, so, there are many, many, many different ones. So what's important about this is not the how many transitional expressions exist. What's important with this is that if you have a transitional expression, it is possible to use, and I'll repeat this again, possible, not an obligation, but it is possible to use the semicolon. Because what that semicolon is saying is these two ideas are separate. Okay, the semicolon, the semicolon, this is what it's telling us. It's telling us, yes, this is a complete idea, and this is another complete idea. They're separate sentences. But these se separate sentences are connected between them. Okay, so I, once again, I can choose to either use, if I want, a period or if I want, I can use a semicolon. It's up to me. Okay, it's up to me. I can use a period or a semicolon. It's okay. All right. Heidi, does that make sense now? Yes, teacher. Okay. Any other questions, guys? No? Uh, I, I have a question about that bear uh, the IOT poses. <laughs> what is the meaning of that bear poses? Uh, the IOT poses is like have or like give or, or like what? Poses with channels for business audiences. Where are you looking at, David? The the first uh, close the IoT in the in the last example the IoT poses great challenge for business organizations. I, I am asking me about it is maybe it's not the the, the aspect we are trading but poses I, I am. Uh, trying to figure it what oh the, figure out well, what, what is the meaning of poses 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 yes um poses, yes. presents it presents uh, the iot ah, okay, presents okay. great presents, challenges presents mm -hmm. yes yeah yes. it poses ah, okay okay yeah anything else So, so, so. No? Uh, the, the structure of the syntax 
for for that expression is a semicolon, the transitional expressions, and then a comma. Maybe it's, it's, it's the the syntax. Oh, semicolon. Uh, transitions in, transitions always have a co uh, a period. Sorry, uh, a, a comma after them. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay that that like whenever you have a transition, you always uh -huh. have to have a comma. Whether if it's it, it could be before or after or both. Like for example, I could I could um eliminate this for instance here and put it at the end. That's possible. Mm -hmm. Like I, I could I could do this. After data, a comma, and then for instance, yeah. and then a period. Okay. Exactly. That that's also another uh, position that is possible for yes. for transitions. The difference between the two is that um, it gives it less importance. For the the for instance is less important when it's at the end. Uh, okay. Okay. But there's always a comma. Yes, okay? yes. There's yes. always going to be a comma. I got it. Or I can even put it in the middle. You could say, they will, for instance, need to outsource. That's another possibility, too. So I could yes. put it, they will, and then put it here. Between the they, auxiliary and the principal verb. Okay. I can put here, they will, comma, right. for instance, and in that case, I commas. put, I, I would, put, yeah, exactly, I would put two commas. Okay. Okay, so that's another possibility. So, the yes. but th that's that's another topic, though, because that's about transitions. And, <laughs> yeah, but what's important here is we're looking at the semicolon. Okay. Okay. All right, any other questions, guys? So far, so good. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, as they say in Spanish, manos a la obra. <laughs> okay. So. I, I um, have some some problems with with fanboy because in Spanish, N E is. Is a coordinated conjunction, but or is a disjunctive conjunction. Uh -huh. and for the reason I having some problem with fanboy, but but mm -hmm. now I got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just just remember, a coordinating conjunctions are seven. Yes, yes. seven words for, uh, you know, for, uh, and, nor, but, or, yet, so. Simple as that. Keep it like that. That's it. That's how it is. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay. okay. All right. So anyway, um, what we're going to do here is a, in this activity. Give me a moment. A, in this activity, I need you guys to a, uh, give me a moment, guys. Yeah, you're going to be identifying. Um, moment. Yeah, you have to be uh, identifying uh, four mistakes that are related to the semicolons. Okay. Four mistakes related to the semicolon. Uh, do you guys need me to be sending you? What basis of the manual? Hmm. 
19. Okay, okay. so it'll be page 19. So I need you guys to work in groups and uh, try to figure out what's the four mistakes, what are the four mistakes that are exist in those exercises. Okay. Um, I just want to make sure that you guys are here. So William, are you here? Yes. Yay. Okay. Perfect. Um, all right. Harvin, are you there? Wonderful. Wendy? Francisco Eduardo? Sorry, teacher. I'm here. Okay. No problem. Wendy, are you also there? Wendy? Okay, I guess not. All right, so right now I'm making the breakout rooms. Okay. Um, okay. All right, guys, so I'm going to give you, I don't think it should take you too long. I'll give you about eight minutes. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Uh, I, I have the, the sentences. Can, can you, you can, can you share them? Oh, okay, give me give me one second. Oh, it's not possible sharing screen. Mm. Sorry, guys, I'll take care of that in a moment. Okay. Can you share now? Let me see. Oh, yes. Yes, teacher, thank you. Okay. Okay. Can you, can you see? Yes. Okay. Okay, the, the first one. Oh, do you have oh, or or can you see her? Yes, the first one mistake is the semicolon before but because it's a fanboy. And we can use a semicolon. Which number is that one? The first, no, the first uh -huh. one. Yeah, the IOT is, pop is popular now. Consider considering that many devices are connected to each other via internet. Let me call them, but mm -hmm. 
mistake. It's true. But it's a mistake, right? Mm -hmm. yes. No, the semicolon. Ah, sí, oh, the sí, semicolon. Sí, 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 sí. The semicolon is a mistake. Sería, esa es la lógica, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because the sentence is connected with a with a with a fanboy. fanboy. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sorry, I had the windows. The windows is stopped. Let me one second. Yeah. Yeah. I try to share again. Okay. Okay, the first one, the mistake is bad or the semicolon? The semicolon. Mm -hmm. Okay, the semicolon. Let me see if I can mark. Yeah, that's the idea. Okay, mm -hmm. the IoT is po popular now, considering that many devices are connected to each other by internet, but the IoT, however, which is so much. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the third one, as a manufacturing company, Caterpillar didn't have the internal talent in software, data analyst, analytics, and business model innovation to escalate its new ambitions in effective way. Consequently, they are they hire a specialist firm. As a manufacturing company, Caterpillar didn't have the internal talent. Mm -hmm. As a manufacturing company, Caterpillar didn't have so for. Maybe for me, it doesn't have it, doesn't make any sense. The semicolon there, yeah, that's right. So we have to remove right there and. I guess that we need to move them just one moment. Let me check the B. Give me a moment. Just I need to check the B. Let me check something. Yeah, that's right. We need to remove the, the semicolon right there. Okay, so the four one, the benefits of the IoT can also be experienced by World City to illustrate some smart city. Some smart cities are implementing the IoT to monitoring the monitor and the garbage bins need need to be in empty. Mm. Benefits of the IoT can also experience by this. For me, that's okay. Let me 
see all of them there. You can also experience see this. For me, that's okay. It's yeah, uh, that's fine. Sounds good. Trans transitional expression. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. So number five, an inventor, uh, an environmental, an environmental focus of the implementation of the IoT should be worldwide concern. It could help the government understand ways to reduce pollution. An environmental focus of the implementation of the IoT Will be our why for me the semicolon could be after, after concern. concern yeah, yeah that's right i think Okay, guys, so let's check the answers. Um, Just teacher, because I have so many doubts. <laughs> okay, no problem. All right, let's talk about the first one. The IoT is popular now, considering that many de uh, devices are connected to each other via internet. But the IoT, the IIoT, however, will take um, some time <laughs> to be considered by more businesses. Okay. Questions. How in this, how does one work for you? Does do you think any there's any problem? In this case, it seems like we have a transitional phrase in, in however. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the fanboy bat. Maybe it's not in the correct place after the semicolon. Mm -hmm. Maybe that is that I, I think. Okay, what do you guys think? You agree with David? The, sorry? Uh, no, I'm asking the rest of the rest okay. of the class. Do you agree with David? I agree with David. Yep. Yeah. I'm agree with him. You agree with him? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. yes, we we learned that the semicolon is possible to use as long as we don't use a fanboy, right, or a coordinating mm -hmm. conjunction, and we are clearly using uh, a coordinating conjunction which is the word but. So because we're using the word but, we cannot use a, a, um, a semicolon, okay? 
Another problem is that if you notice, we're using a courting conjunction and a transition. This is a transition. Yes. Right. So the reason I think we need to omit but but, but I don't know. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. That's the reason why we can't use it. Okay. Uh, we can't use the but. Okay, so we'd have to say we can say the IoT is popular now considering that many devices are connected to each other via internet. We can use the semicolon, but we have to take away the but. The IoT, however, will take some more time to be considered by many businesses. Sounds good? Okay, yes. Questions? Yes, yes. No questions? Not the chair. Not for the other one. Okay, perfect. Number two, a recent survey reports that 73% uh, of uh, entrepreneurs are using the IoT to improve their business. Such, a, such improvements are related to product quality or performance. I think we need a, a, a semicolon yes. after business. Okay, why? Because uh, uh, we have a complete idea. A recent survey report that 73% of entrepreneurs are using the IoT to improve their business. Their mm -hmm. business. Good. Exactly. That by itself is already a complete idea. So because it's already a complete idea, we don't need we just need to um separate that complete idea from the other complete idea with a semicolon. Okay, and because such improvements, which improvements? The improvements to their businesses, right? Yes. So it's a, like, it's obviously related. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Okay, Um. let me ask individually. Fernando, can you help me with number three? Fernando Ramarvin. Oh, yes, sir. Uh, as a manufacturing company, our employer didn't have the internal talent in software, their uh, analytics and business model innovation to scale its new ambitions in an effective way. Consequently, they hired a specialist firm uh, for for me and my world, uh, we need a semicolon after weight and comma after con consequently, consequently. Consequently. Consequently, okay. Mm -hmm. Because it's a transitional, I guess, transitional expression. Very good. Okay, it's a transitional expression, exactly. So yes, we can use a, a, semi, a semicolon, but the semicolon has to go before the transitional expression. And after the transitional expressions, we'd never use um, a, semicolon. a semicolon. We use a comp, okay, so yes. Teacher, we, we only can change the semicolon by a comma and we can let the period, it's no problem. Yeah, that's also possible. Okay. Like I said yes. before, semicolons are optional. Yes. They're optional. They're not mandatory. They're optional. Okay. But after consequently, we need to use a comma. Yes, that yes. is, yeah, that's, yeah, that's compulsory. Yes. Okay, so we can use a comma there. As our business, we need a comma there, better said. And we can, if we want, to use a semicolon. 
but not necessary. Right here. Any questions there? Anybody want to ask of something? Okay. And I, I, uh -huh. Yes. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Yeah, no, no problem. Go ahead. There, there is a, a of another another topic, maybe, but it seems to me too much, too long. The phrase data analytics and business model innovation. It could be a coma in that place. It's, it's not the topic of the, of the class, but it could be, or or no, or, or we we talk about that. Uh, after <laughs> I, i'm not sure no, of oh, my could question. You, could you, uh, yeah could you repeat the question yes i i i, I think in, in the in the in the the second line in business model innovation to scale its new vision in an effective way it, it seems to me too long what part we, uh, that part in business model innovation to scale its new vision in an effective way. I, I think it's too long. I think we can use a comma after innovation. I, I don't know. <laughs> a comma after innovation? Yes. Uh, mm. It's another topic. I, I know. But <laughs> no. Uh, the thing is that this is a, a, this is a, a list. Okay. This is a list. Ah, okay. So... Yes. Caterpillar didn't have the intern, didn't have, what did, didn't they have? First, they didn't have the internal talent in software. Yes, the first comma. Yeah. Data they didn't analytics. have the internal, the internal talent in data, or, or, or sorry, they didn't have the data and analytics, and they didn't have the business model innovation. Yes, for that reason, I was asking yeah. if it's the yeah. comma or not. Yeah, so it's a list, right? So three different things. And these things, they didn't have them to scale its new ambitions. Yes. Right, they didn't have it to scale. So this is this is a compliment. This right here is a compliment. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. it's so list. it's okay. Yes. Okay. All right. Number four, um, I'm going to ask Dora to help us with number four. The benefits of the IoT can also be experienced by whole cities. To illustrate, some smart cities are implementing the IoT to monitor when garbage bins need to be um, emptied. Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. So, what can you tell me about that sentence, Dora? It's correct. Very good. Yes. Exactly. It's correct. It's perfect, right? There's no problem with that one. Uh, because we are using a semicolon between two ideas that are connected. And the second sentence has a a transitional expression, which is to illustrate. Oh, sorry. Right, to illustrate. And we're using a, we're using a period, a sorry, a colon after, after the transitional expression. So it's all perfect. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, number five. Um, Harvin, please help me with number five. Okay, teacher, number five. An environment focus on the implementation of the IoT should be a worldwide concern. It could help the government understand way to reduce pollution. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. I think we have to use the 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 semicolon after concert to separate the two complete ideas. Like this? 
I think. Why? Because we have two complete ideas and we need to connect it. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Thank you. Very good. All right. And the last one. Um, let's have Jose Marcos help me with number six. Okay. Security and privacy are the biggest challenge for IoT. All devices interconnect that call information of where you are, where or not your home, are an easy prey to hackers. Um, for me, I think, I don't know, I think it's right because security or privacy until IoT is a, an idea, then the rest of the sentence is a, another a complete idea. So the silicon is well placed. In that. Exactly. Very good. Yeah, that, that's precisely it. Right. So we have a, a complete idea here. Right. There's, it's completely um, independent. Right. It's an independent clause there. This is another independent clause. And we want to show that they are connected. Those two clauses are connected. And that's why we use a semicolon. Perfect. There you go. Thank you very much. Any questions so far? So we understand we understand this topic? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. All right. Now let's take a look at this vocabulary now. We have four words here. Of course, we continue talking about IoT. So these all these words are related to IoTs. We have machine to machine connections, business to business connect, uh, connections, security threats, and breach. Once again, I'm going to be dividing you guys into groups, small groups, and you're going to be investigating what these words mean according to the IOTs, okay? So breach can be used in different contexts, but we're looking at IOTs, okay? And I want you to not give me an internet connection, sorry, uh, an internet uh, definition, sorry, but Give me your own definition of what you understand. Okay, so I'm going to get you guys to work in groups, small groups, like I said. Um, do you guys want me to send you the... Um, do you guys need me to send you the... Um, what's it called? Um, the picture, yeah. Please, teacher. Thank you. Okay. New problem. Let me just. Okay, so I'm gonna give you a few minutes, and in the meantime, I will be send I will be sending you guys uh, the the uh, the picture in the group. Okay, so I am gonna open the rooms right now.
Hi guys, um, just give me a moment that my uh, my computer is opening the the WhatsApp web. So and I'll be sending it to you guys in a second. Okay, tell me if you guys can see it now. Not yet. No quiere cargar. I don't know why. Okay, but I had the, the I had the All pictures. Right. Okay. I I share with you in the in the sun chat. Can you see? In the mm -hmm. sun chat. The first is machine to machine okay. connection. I read. Yes. Okay, you should get you should have gotten it by now. Okay, machine to machine connections. I I for uh it's a connection between two machines that are enterprise the way of you human interaction in other words. It's allowed to device to communicate it autonomy. Maybe it's a two computer or two machines uh, uh, communicate uh, one for one. Or between. What do you think? Another comment? How come? When you call, when you are talking in a call center B two B, it's mean like one call back to another. Mm. <laughs> but here is is the totally different. Business to business. It's a business to business, a type of electronic commerce. E-commerce mm -hmm. is the exchange of product services or information between business rather than between business and consumers. Mm -hmm. A to B transaction. B2B transaction is consumers. consumers. Mm -hmm. B2B transaction is conducted between two companies such as wholesalers and online retailers. For example, manufacturing materials, clothing, car parts, and semiconductors are business to business examples. Which one is a big example of business to this? That is that is the hacker one we get. <laughs> 
the hacker way. Yeah, yeah, it's the <laughs> hacker way. Okay, and not recognize the way to enter to a system or a device, obviously. Me faltó una O ahí. Yes, Obvio. yes. Yeah, I, 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 we put it. Okay, bridge in. Obviously, without the permissions. And uh, we are waiting for Jose Marcos. Do mm -hmm. you find Marcos security yeah. tweets? Almost, almost. <laughs> okay. And security treats. Reach. Hacker wait. Reach. This word is new for me. I, I didn't hear before. In the different fields. Okay. So this is not uh is it the same, Dora? Yes. Okay. It's not one hundred percent. Due to witness in something that not matter the countermeasures we take with possibly to exploit them by security. However, the plan of the action yeah. we take to be prepared for that treat can we can minimize the damage in a possible attack. Maybe and oh hello. Uh, maybe a security threat is not uh, uh, in, in in my mind, yeah. It's um, a potential cause, a, a potential cause. Yes, uh, uh, uh. that could affect uh, the your yeah, system is... or your hardware. Yeah, and is the... what I was writing here. Uh -huh. It's interesting. It's a ghost that exists. It is, it is a, a, a virtual entity that, that are in the, in the system. 
Is is la, like a back door, something like that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe could be. Could be. Mm -hmm. Like a back door. Many of the of the famous uh, programmers usually uh, left back doors if in case that uh, they are uh, fired of his job. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, they put this kind of, of goals or potential violation of security of the systems. Interesting. This is the security trees. Mm. Okay, guys and girls. Um, so we, um, I know you guys are probably not completely finished, but that's okay because um, we can finish that tomorrow. Uh, but unfortunately, we have come to the end of our class. Um, we've, yeah, um, we time has caught up to us. So we'll finish this tomorrow. Um, just wanted to know: Are you almost finished? Or do you need a lot more time? Almost a chin. You are need a lot more time to turn like one hour and 40 minutes. <laughs> ah, teacher, just kidding. Okay. Um, if tomorrow I give you time, how much more in time do you need? Five, 10 minutes, 15? I see for us five teacher. Five for minutes? us. Yes. I don't know the five minutes are five minutes, five, 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 yeah. five, ten minutes. It's okay. Ten minutes. Okay. okay. All right, no problem. Okay, guys, so that will be all for today. Um but before, of course, I have to take attendance. So just uh be patient with me. Um and I'm going to take right now the attendance. Okay. Ana Claudia? Not here. David? Listen, teacher. Right. Uh, Dora? Listen. Right. Uh, Fernando? Present. Fernando Ernesto, right? Uh -huh. Fernando Marvin? Present. Okay. Uh, Francisco? Present teacher. Heidi? Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Ileana? Ileana? Uh, Harvin? Present teacher. Okay. Um, Jose Marcos? Present. Jose Osmin? Jose Osmin? Jose Wilfredo? Present teacher. Juan Miguel? Present teacher. Ramón? Ramón Enrique Mata? Roberto Luis Amaña? Roxana Ivet? Present. Eh, William? Present. Sulei Maybon? Wendy? 
present when, teacher. And Wilfredo. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. And um, today, I guess, would be uh, Ramon Enrique's turn, but I, um, he's not here. So if anybody would like to stay and ask something, I can I can help you. If not, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. All right. Take care, guys. Good night. Great teacher. Thank, Thank you. Good night. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.